Engaging Citizens, a game changer for development. The Potential of Citizen Engagement with Danny Srishkandaraja, Secretary General, Civicus. Hello, I'm Danny Srishkandaraja, Secretary General of Civicus, the World Alliance for Citizen Participation. As you go through these next few weeks, I hope you can pay attention to a few issues, a few areas of potential change that interest me. The first is around who we're engaging with. I think the potential for a game changer here is about broadening the scope of who we're meaning when we're talking about civil society and changing the nature of that conversation so that it's more meaningful, that it's about cooperation and dialogue, not just about uh, advocacy or confrontation. The second issue that I'm particularly interested in here is around inclusion. That those people who've been the most difficult to reach, often the poorest, often the most marginalized, are the ones who haven't been engaged in those few measures uh, that have taken place in recent years. I think the opportunity now, with a concerted effort, is to bring those marginalized voices into the development process so that we can engage those communities and those people in shaping development policy and practice. The third area that excites me is around empowerment. That development has always been more than just feeding babies or delivering education or saving lives. It's been about empowering people. It's been a political process. And the citizen engagement agenda, I think, opens the door for investing in those processes that will empower people. In closing, I just wanted to reflect a little bit about what might make a difference as to whether this citizen engagement agenda really is a game changer or not. One thing that I'm a bit pessimistic about and two things I'm optimistic about. My reason for pessimism is around civic space and the enabling environment for citizens to engage or participate. Despite all of the wonderful promises our governments are making about, about the importance of civil society, we're seeing increasingly restrictive legal and regulatory environments for civil society. We're seeing restrictions on fundamental freedoms of assembly and association. We're seeing crackdowns on dissent, surveillance of civil society actors. And so, if we really are to uh, take advantage of this moment around citizen engagement, we have to pay attention to civic space and the conditions for citizens to organize and mobilize. And we have to fight back in this, this new restrictive environment that we're seeing around the world. Only then can we realize the potential of citizen engagement. The reasons for my optimism are pretty straightforward. The technology that we have at our disposal surely makes citizen engagement far easier than ever before in history. Mobile communications, the internet, make meaningful, iterative, many-to-many -many conversations far more possible and far more effective. And the second reason for optimism is about young people. The young activists I meet around the world have a fundamentally different approach to participation. They may not be engaged in party politics, they certainly might not want to vote in elections, but they are thirsty to engage in political life, in, in shaping their communities. And so, for those reasons, I'm very optimistic about this agenda. I hope you find this course very useful, and I hope you enjoy it. But most importantly, I hope you take what you learn and use it in your lives, in your work, to make this agenda really an important one that can change the very nature of development. Thank you very much.